I love pretty much not too many dudes. Yeah, my wrist don't test well, that's because he's pretty cool. Just in case I'm here, but what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be trying to basically make, trying to launch thousands and thousands of fireworks at once. I create a firework machine and try and launch absolutely thousands of fireworks. So I'm just trying to find a good place to do it. I think we're gonna go like behind here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're basically gonna create a little circuit that basically um means that we press the button once and it will basically turn on and then we press the button again and it'll turn it off. Um so yeah, it's just super simple to do actually. Um, okay, then we're gonna go off to. We somehow need to basically. There we go. So yeah, you press the button once, it turns on. Press the button um, again, and it turns off. So we need to somehow make a super fast clock. So I think the best way we could do this is. Um, actually, I know one way that we could do it, because I was thinking hopper clock, well at the minute I don't actually know a way that we could like turn off a hopper clock, and then have it turn on again, that's pretty fast though isn't it, um, yeah because then we can actually turn that off, because I know that activates at the minute, but what you can do is, if we, say if we got a lever now, that would turn the clock off, um, so we could connect that up to that. Um, is that roughly the same speed as, we won't need an observer for this, or we will, but later. Is that as fast as a hopper clock, do you reckon? I don't know. Uh, let's do a little bit of an experiment. Why can't I play hoppers today? Okay, so they're linked in together, so let's grab a comparator. Um, what do we not need? We won't need a lever. A lever for this. Um, and then if we just put something we don't need, we don't need a button. Okay, so... Okay, I didn't actually think that we were actually going to need to boost the signal that, uh, that's going to connect. So let's actually do it. Like, I didn't think it was actually going to be that fast, but I think that one might uh, might actually be faster. Hang on, let, let, me, let me see. Yeah, this one's faster. Okay, that, that's actually um, quite a good result, because the only really way we could get a hopper clock to turn on and off is by um, have it doing like a dispenser that like um, drops an item into the hoppers. Um, but uh, I don't really know how to get it out, but this one's quite easy to turn off, so yeah, that's a good result, this one's the fastest. So we're basically going to copy that over here, so if we do that and then one repeater going in. So you may have seen me use this type of redstone clock on the channel before, because although that activates all of that, if we press the button, well sometimes we have to time it right, but... Okay. Why isn't this working? There we go. Okay, there. there yeah. Okay, I'm going to turn it off and on. Um, so if we do redstone here, going to dispensers, not droppers. So if we get some dispensers going up, like loads and loads of these. Not, not not loads, but like quite a few. So you don't want to get it too laggy that's going to like break the world, but you want it quite good. So, um, the best way we could probably do this is by doing repeater, 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 and basically doing that. Um, and then, as you know, if we do it on this layer, then we can do it like going in, which will activate it and everything. So it's just generally a good way to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and do all this and probably add more layers, but so guys, I will see you once I have filled in all of these and then we're going to have to fill up the fireworks, I'll see you then. Hello everybody, welcome back to another 
video and why I shoot that intro. Um, okay, so what I meant to say was I have uh, finished doing, you know, rebuilding in all the spaces for the firework machine. And I did do one quick test and it's crazy. I've also filled all of them up for now with like blue fireworks that they really, didn't really want to bother. But uh, with, you know, trying to get rainbow in and everything, but eventually we will do that. But yeah, so this thing, turn this thing on, is you do that, and then literally thousands of fireworks are launched. This is crazy. Like, this is like a really good firework machine. The only problem is the noise. So yeah, I'm gonna go around where you don't have the noise of all the firework machine. The way I did this was, I don't know if you can even hear me, I have noise there, but probably should be able to. Anyway, so the way I did this was, um, let me turn this off, please. So, there you do that, just press the button again, and it does it. The only problem is, sometimes, you have to time it right when to press the button, because it seems like, not only does it activate there, but it also, um, gives off a pulse going this way, so that kind of, you know, conquers that system. So, say if you're doing it, for example, I just pressed it then, and it didn't turn off. Yeah, you do have to time it right. So, so the way I did it in the end was that is just a button switcher system. So it goes into block, deactivating that redstone torch, which goes into there, which goes into there. Then that redstone torch turns off because of that, and then it activates there. Then this is just a super fast redstone clock, so it basically powers into the thing, activating or deactivating that torch actually. Then the signal will go down there, going into the block and reactivating it. So then there's all of this redstone going here, which basically just goes um, going repeater, and then going into the dispenser, repeater, into the dispenser, repeater, into the dispenser. Basically copying that three times, going in three different rows, and then it basically just keeps firing. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I also did one fire machine a while ago, it was here actually. So I did this a couple of weeks ago, and it's okay, I mean... Like, the only good thing to it is... Oh, do you find that work? Okay. Yeah, this is another one that's really picky about it being turning off and on. Okay, I'm going do it. So, the only good thing about this one is you see this Minecraft system. So, basically, what this does is you basically put all of the fireworks in. So, it's currently not in there. But if we go into creative inventory and then grab tons and tons of them let's go like that okay so if we grab absolutely tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of fireworks if we then put them in this chest it'll slowly start taking them out okay so yeah sometimes just stops a bit i don't really know why it's just like the system so if we put all of them in it then takes them into that hopper into that hopper which then basically puts them into that minecart hopper which basically drops a few off in each one so you can see it just dropped the brown one in and then that hopper points them into the dispenser so as you can see it's putting light blue, brown, light blue, all of them in so yeah, that's something super super cool that it does but the actual system that makes it basically fire isn't that good you see, there's kind of the same as the clock that we did over here, but longer, and kicked repeaters. So yeah, the only good part about that is the minecart loading, the minecart with hopper loading system to get them in. Um, the, like, I was going to try and make a really big minecart loading system going onto this machine, but generally it doesn't work. So, I Machines. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to make a really cool fire machine and hope you guys did enjoy. Maybe we should make like this but like times 10 and like try and clone like this and then like hook it up to one big mega fast hopper clock or something. Actually a hopper clock isn't as fast as that one that we made there but yeah if you, if you want to see that then just be sure to subscribe to the channel. So, uh, through all of these creations really um 
If you want to know what some of them are now, then this is actually like a really fast version of that block, which basically is what. So it basically, if it's if it's not active like now, then it will basically give it some time for the fireworks to go into my dot popper. Um, but yeah, we've also got here yours. So yeah, that's like one. I think pretty, I'm pretty sure that's like the most simple door you can do. You literally need a lever, a piece of redstone, and two pistons. It's literally the most simple one, but it's not joke. But yeah, I am actually going to be showing you that how to do some doors pretty, pretty soon. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video. Um, if you have made it to the end and not just got bored, thank you. Um, and I'll see you all soon in a brand new Project 10 video very soon. Bye!